Hello Spirit Family and welcome back for some of you guys who are new. This is Spiritual Findings with the Gypsy Soul. I'm your Gypsy, Vera Lynn. I do 12 readings a month for each zodiac sign as well as I do live readings. You can book me for a private session. Today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm actually going to be bringing in the spiritual study side, which I'm going to be talking about sage and smudge sticks. I've been getting a lot of questions about you guys on what do I use and how do I use it. Today I'm going to be showing you the difference between store-bought, which you can see here perfectly all round up, right? And things that you can make yourself with. This is actually the sage that I have grown myself and made little sudge sticks. So as some of you may know, you can buy sage from any holistic shop as well as health food stores. Um, there's a lot of different sages that you can buy. A lot of people do not know that the white sage is actually endangered. So it's really important to try to grow that on your own and make your own sage sticks from that. There's different types of sage sticks. What I like about making your own personal sage or smudge stick is you can add different plants. It also makes you more connected with the plants around you as well as mother nature. Saging and smudging is a practice that goes back thousands of years for many different cultures and religions. Native Americans use smudging a lot, almost on a daily ritual for their ceremonies, um, just for different practices. It was very popular with the medicine man and healing. A lot of people will burn sage in their house in each corner, let open the windows for the smoke and the negative energy to be released very important that you opened up your windows guys for to let the negative energy as well as um, to improve the quality of air. It is very important that you leave a window open while saging or smudging. Make sure to use a fire safe bowl. A lot of people will put the sand in the bottom of the bowl that way it doesn't stay hot while you're saging because you can burn your hand through the bowl but this is also a fire safe way, okay? So make sure that you guys are always staying safe while you are saging or smudging. I actually, one of my practices with sage is I like to pick a little leaf of sage, bring it on my journeys and just, just kind of smell it every once in a while if I'm having anxiety or I need something to bring me down to a calming state of mind. Not only is it, I don't have to burn it, but I just love the smell of fresh sage. I have Russian sage here, which I'll be showing to you in a minute. That's actually what I use for my own sticks, as well as I like to use pine, cedar, rose petals, lavender. You can personalize your smudging stick in any way. Use the roses from your garden, lavender. Just make sure that the plants that are using are safe to burn and inhale, okay? But there are so many different things that you can pick within your garden grow, or you know, if it's permittable to pick around um, your local forest or park. Every year I buy a Russian sage plant that I just love. I use it on, every time I leave the house, I go over to the plant and I just pick a little leaf and I have it, you know, on my dashboard in my car and just, you know, smell it a little bit, kind of sage the area I'm going to, sage the negative energy. It's a very good practice and something to keep you in the mindset of bringing positivity back into your life. I smudge before and after my live reading. I do a lot of sage healing on my clients. Now I'm actually drinking citrus berry sage tea. So when you make your own sage or smudge stick, you know, visualizing yourself wrapping love and abundance and positive vibes into it. Whatever you want the sage stick or smudge stick to bring out into your life. Picture yourself wrapping those feelings when you make your own stick also helps a connection between you and the plant and the spiritual ritual that you are going to perform with it. Making your own sage or smudge stick is very fun. It connects you with nature. It's something you can do with your friends as well as it'll save you some money. I'm going to read a little passage here about smudging ceremonies. Let go of the past, purify, detox, release whatever doesn't serve or support you in your life. Cleanse your body and the environment by doing space clearing and clutter clearing. Let go of the old, discarded, and unused to make way for the new energy and new beginnings. Eat lightly, drink lots of fresh water, and consume food with a strong life force. That is very important. A lot of people don't think about that. Smudging is a native tradition that involves using the smoke of burning herbs to symbolically wash a space in a ceremonial manner. Sometimes your energy field 
or the energy field of your environment becomes so cluttered and so dingy that you can't see the world around you clearly and you have trouble hearing the messages from your soul. That gave me goosebumps. When you take the time to purify yourself and your environment, not only do you feel lighter and brighter, but you also are clearer. You also, but also you're a clearer channel for the light. Can, the brilliance that pours through you can heal and help many people, but first the path has to be clear. Using the smoke of a, using the smoke of incense or sage, cup your hands into the smoke, wash over the top of your head saying, I think clearly. Then cup the smoke to your eyes, saying that I may see the truth. Next, bring the smoke to your throat area, saying that I may speak the truth. Finally, walk the smoke to your heart area, saying that my heart will be open. That little passage is very eye-opening on the power that you can put behind smudging or saging. guys so here I have my Russian sage I buy this every year it's not a perennial but I use it a lot in my sage sticks as well as this is the one that I'll take like a little leaf with and bring this on me on my travels whether I'm going shopping or something and you know just smell it because this is extremely potent I love it it grows very fast and it has these beautiful purple flowers on it I just love it Okay, so I just trimmed off a little piece, so that's about how big I'm going to make it, and size it, and I'll trim it up. Make sure you guys are always showing gratitude and being thankful. Thank you! I love these pine needles. I love this type of tree. They're so soft. I'm gonna use this in my sage stick. Always be thankful. Thank you. Thank you. So when I came out here, I knew what I wanted. Um, I wanted pine for protection, so I got some pine. And I come across all these wild flowers, so I'm definitely gonna add these into my sage stick too. Look at those lovely purple ones. All right, this is what I got. I got some salvia, my own roses, sage, two different types of pine, and two different types of wild flower. This is going to be a beautiful smudge stick. Um, you know, some of these I've grown myself, and others I have foraged in places that I am allowed to. Okay, guys, so just make sure you're not out there picking some plants that you're legally not allowed to, and come back to me and yell at me for showing this video. All right, guys, so I'm going to show me making one, okay? So usually while making your smudge sticks, you start with a bigger base so you can lay things on. Sometimes the roses can be difficult to work with, but you're just going to have to make do. Alright guys, now that I have everything right here and ready for me to work with, I'm going to start wrapping.
All right, let's see what we have here. Freedom Horse, okay? And I will read from the guidebook in a minute. So you guys can see that card. Very lovely illustration. To me, Freedom Horse is definitely saying that there's something that you need to break away from, um, whether it's just daily routine that just has your life stagnant, or it could be something even like your relationship or your career, okay, guys? Something that you really need to break free from. But let me read from the freedom horse book or from the freedom horse passage here let your spirit fly do not hold back break free and express yourself flaunt your stuff dance laugh explore and go beyond the predictable behavior get out of the rut you don't need to fit in the mold be daring fling your arms into the heaven in joy your native spirit wants you to know. The horse allowed the natives of the Americas of the, of the Americas to travel great distances with ease. The horse also carried their supplies, which additionally granted freedom to those ancient people. That was their only way of transportation, guys, at a fast pace was the horse. This card chose you to remind you that you aren't here to be ordinary, but to step beyond limitations and support and self-imposed boundaries. Don't allow yourself to be trapped by convenience or by the expectations of others. You have the ability to choose your life on your own terms. Replace the phrase, I should, with I could, but choose not but I choose not to be at this time. I'm sorry, so it says replace the phrase with I should, with I could, but I choose not to be at this time. Perhaps you aren't always free to create the exact circumstances of your life, but you're certainly able to decide the meaning to give to those situations. Select meanings that empower you. For this is the time to break free your journey the way you use your body can change your state put on music and dance with wild abandon as you do so 
This sends power. This sends a powerful message to your subconscious that you are indeed truly free. That sends chills all over my body because I feel like a lot of people don't realize that certain things that you do can bring you out of your stagnant way of life and really empower you. This card is really talking about breaking out of the norm and, you know, doing things to send to your subconscious that, you know, look, I might free, I might not be able to control every situation, but this is my life. In a way that sage can also be, you know, something like that for a lot of us. When we light the sage, we're releasing things that we can no longer, you know, be in control of and bringing in the positive energy. And I feel like the Freedom Horse was a definitely a good card to go along with this video. All right, guys, before it rains, I'm going to send you guys off with some love. And I hope you guys subscribe and more importantly, share this channel, get this spiritual education out there. I hope to see you for a live stream as well as maybe check out one of those, you know, recordings that I do for each zodiac sign every month or general readings as well as I do get into love readings. All right, Spirit like family, that. that is it for me for today. It looks like it is going to rain here. I'm sorry the lighting has been all over the place. There might have been some background noises, but you know what? The birds are beautiful. I heard a crow in the background, so maybe some of you guys also have the spirit animal of a crow. I hope you guys enjoyed your card, and show me a picture of your sage stick. Link below to join the community on Facebook, too, as well. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Spiritual Findings with a Gypsy Soul. I am your gypsy, Spirit Lynn. You guys have a wonderful day, and enjoy your freedom.